dividing one number by another one digit number. Before you start to watch this video, don't forget to review the multiplication tables. We have already seen in another video the method of dividing small numbers like 54 divided by 9. By asking the question, 9 times what equals 54? It is 9 times 6 equals 54. So 54 divided by 9 equals 6. But if we have a large number, how can we divide it? We use a process called long division. What is the division of 762 by 3? To find the answer, first we have to rewrite the equation using the long division symbol. We place the number 762 to the right here, and we call it dividend. And we write the 3 to the left here, and we call it the divisor. And the result is written here above the dividend, and it is called the quotient. Notice that in the long division, we always start from the left to the right, which means in the division, we start with the hundreds. The hundreds digit is 7, and we want to divide 7 by 3. So we ask the question, 3 times what gives us 7? Or a number very close to 7? Or how many 3 makes 7? If we find it difficult to find the answer, we can help ourselves with the table of 3. Since 7 is not in the table of 3, then we must find a number very close to 7. And at the same time, this number must not be greater than 7. Take a good look at the table of 3. 3 times 2 equals 6, and 3 times 3 equals 9. But 9 is greater than 7, so we must take 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. So we write 2 directly above the 7 here in the quotient, and continue. Then we multiply 2 by 3. 2 times 3 equals 6. We write the 6 below the 7, and we subtract. 7 minus 6 equals 1. After we subtract, the result should be less than the divisor. Now we have done with the hundredth digit and move on to the tenth digit which is here 6. We bring down the 6 and we put it next to 1. We then have the number 16 and we continue by the same way. We want to divide 16 by 3. Then we ask the question, 3 times what gives us 16? Or a number very close to 16? If it's difficult, then we can help ourselves by using the table of 3. In the table 3, we have 3 times 5 equals 15, and 3 times 6 equals 18, but the number 18 is greater than 16, so we have to take 3 times 5. We write 5 in the quotient next to 2 and above the 6, then we multiply 5 by 3, 5 times 3 equals 15. Then write 15 under 16, and we subtract 16 minus 15 equals 1. Now what only remains is to bring down the 1's digit which is 2 and put it next to 1. It will be 12 and we have to divide 12 by 3. So we ask the question, 3 times what equals 12? It's 3 times 4 equals 12. Then we write 4 above the 2 in the quotient and we multiply 4 by 3. 4 times 3 equals 12. We write 12 here below the 12 and subtract. 12 minus 12 equals 0. And since there is no more number to bring down, so we have finished. 762 divided by 3 equals 254. If we want to check our answer, we find that 254 times 3 gives us 762. So my work is correct. And of course, to divide, you have to practice. Try to make these divisions on a sheet. Pause the video to take your time to work. And here are the answers. 